Hi everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another thrifting video. I did pick up a few pretty much all Christmas themed items, so stay tuned till the end for my haul and I will also be showing you how I styled one of them in my Christmas decor. You So if this is your first time watching one of my thrifting videos, I thought I would mention the types of things I like to look for. Well, I like to show you all things vintage. I love mid-century pieces um, or just all kinds of different vintage things like this piece here is not something I would bring home for my own decor, but I think that it is really cool. I don't know, I just really like to share a variety of all the different vintage items that I see while I'm out. But for my home, I would say it's mainly vintage farmhouse or I know the cottage style is really popular right now. I do love that as well. And maybe like a splash of English cottage primitive, just a lot of different things, but for the most part, it will always be vintage. loved these pieces here. I love transfer wear that have birds on them. Um, these were in a color that I wasn't really interested in. If it was black, I probably would have brought them home. I'm not even sure how old they are. They didn't look super old, so I did leave them behind. Tomorrow, closing in this fast, oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down. But at least they grow back While I'm on a one-way track Now I know What it means to grow old Yeah, now I know The time I've got It is just enough to get also want to mention that I do resell on eBay on the side as a fun hobby. I get comments often saying that I pass up things that are worth money or collectible items that um, I could have resold and then I even get different comments saying I need to learn more and just things like that but I sell or resell for fun. I actually haven't even been doing it that much lately because I don't want it to become stressful. Um, like I said, it's just for fun. So if you see me pass up a bunch of items, that's why. Just enough 
I did purchase two of these hankies. I call them hankies. I don't know if that's weird, but I did purchase two of them, the purple ones with flowers, for my mother. Her birthday was just the other day, so you won't see them in the hall because I did give them to her. But growing up, she always had vintage handkerchiefs in her purse that she would use, so they reminded me of her. I got this one here, and um, I thought that was a fun kind of thrifted gift to give her. I bet that you can get it asleep in the bed, lying away. This is the item of the video that I regret not purchasing. I had it in my cart and then this day it was the only thing in my cart and I ended up leaving really quickly because of something that was making me uncomfortable so I left in a hurry and I forgot to purchase it. But I thought it would have looked so beautiful on a bathroom counter holding some vintage linens and soaps. I just, it was so cute. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where your heart is fire. But baby, I bet you're cold without me Even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get it asleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold I almost brought home this giant Abraham Lincoln I don't even know what I would have done with it, but I just love the statue look of it, and he is my favorite president, but it did have a lot of um, wear on the face. I think his eyebrow was chipped up, and it, it was super heavy if you saw me kind of drop it there, but it was only $4. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin even with my eyes still closed i can feel it coming in golden i'll follow golden 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 things in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird queen. I thought this piece was amazing imagine if you ditched the pillows and recovered the cushion or even the back um, I just love the carvings around it I wish I had got a longer clip of it but it was a hundred dollars and I thought it was a beautiful beautiful piece gold hair gold ring
Okay, now we are moving into the things that I brought home. The first one being this gorgeous little pewter teapot. This is one of the items that I left behind um, in my, I think it was my last thrift with me where they had donated an entire collection of pewter and I fell in love with this piece and forgot it. Um, but luckily it was still there days later. I was super surprised by that. Um, but yeah, look at it, it's so pretty. It was $6.99, which I felt was completely worth it. Next up is this cute little Santa planter. I want to say this is vintage and it seems like it's one of those pieces where people would paint them themselves. And if it is, whoever painted it, I think they did a great job because it just looks really good and clean to me. It was only $1.99. I haven't found a place for it yet in my Christmas decor this year, so I may or may not resell it. I haven't decided yet. I also grabbed the two mini size Santa mugs. Now these are not vintage as far as like Japan or mid-century pieces they do have barcode stickers on them i did have the larger size of this in like a coffee cup that i donated back because i didn't really like the look of it um i tend to gravitate more towards these older ones like the japan style but i thought these were much cuter in a mini version so i am going to try to find a place for these in my collection somewhere and then the last thing that i picked up was the red colander i envisioned this for christmas with a little tree in it but this is how i styled it you may have seen it in my recent decorate with me video here in the dining room for christmas um so yeah this is how i ended up styling it and that wraps up today's thrifting video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any upcoming content, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!